Elon Musk certainly has his hands in a little bit of everything. Cars, space exploration, Twitter. But what you may not know is that he's also been busy creating his own internet network. And that network is called Starlink. I'm Mike with Those 25, and here are 25 facts about Starlink satellites that you should know. Twenty-five. Owned by SpaceX. Starlink is a network, or constellation, of satellites that provides internet service, owned and operated by SpaceX. Twenty-four. Targeted locations. While service is provided in several locations around the world, its main focus is to provide internet to people and businesses in rural and remote locations, locations where connectivity is often challenging. 23. Mobile Connectivity Starlink isn't stopping there. It also has its eyes set on providing service to vehicles including RVs, cruise ships, and airplanes. 22. Cell Phone Connections There are plans for T-Mobile to enable their phones to connect to Starlink. This will help eliminate several dead zones and allow Starlink satellites to broadcast directly to phones. 21. Start of Development Development on the first Starlink satellites began in 2015, with the first prototype completed in 2018. 20. Number of satellites launched. Starlink started launching their satellites in 2019, but as of September 2022, there have been more than 3,000 of them launched. 19. Satellite Goals The plan is to launch a total of 12,000 satellites but that goal might expand to 42,000, depending on the success of the company. 18. The Fault in Our Stars While satellite development started in 2015, the name wasn't trademarked until 2017. The name Starlink comes from John Green's book, The Fault in Our Stars. 17. Low Earth Orbit Starlink uses a network of satellites launched into low Earth orbit. This means that the satellites are only about 300 miles above our planet's surface, which helps with latency or delay issues. 16. Falcon 9 How do the satellites get there, you may be asking yourself? Well, by SpaceX's own Falcon 9 spacecraft. The Falcon 9 can carry 60 of these small Starlink satellites at a time. 15. Satellite Design each satellite has a flat body and weighs about 573 pounds. And they look like this. 14. Subscribers As of May 2022, there were over 400,000 global subscribers to Starlink. 13. Laser Technology Most internet services use fiber optic technology, which relies on pulses of light. What's different about Starlink is that it uses laser technology, which can travel at the speed of light. 12. Speed Unfortunately, that doesn't fully translate into download speeds, yet. Musk's goal was to reach 300 megabits per second by 2022, but in some places, speeds are only clocking in somewhere from 62 to 150 megabytes per second. That's still enough for a couple of people to stream or download at the same time, but quite a bit shy from where the company wanted it to be. 11. Connectivity While the service might not be as fast as some people wish, reliability is strong. Each individual satellite works in tandem with four nearby satellites to create a strong, dependable connection. Like the, the, the Xandar craft in, in Guardians of the Galaxy. Just a giant net. There you go, just imagine that. 10. Occupy Mars You've probably heard about Musk's aspirations to occupy Mars. This division of SpaceX has a Martian connection too. If you look into the Starlink Terms of Service, you'll find that this project will possibly help fund Station on Mars. Setting up Starlink technology on Mars will also provide a means of communication between the two planets. Which is pretty cool. Dibs on the first call to Mars. Called it, sorry. Mm, sorry, Elon, it's mine now. Nine, the main concern. All of this sounds awesome, but Starlink does have its share of critics. 
The main concern is night sky visibility and the impact that it might have on nocturnal wildlife. Taking light pollution to a whole new level. Sky high. Eight, combating sky pollution. To combat this issue of sky pollution, the company has started experimenting with different colors and materials that won't reflect sunlight as much and reduce the amount of interference with visibility. Seven, weather. As with other satellites, weather can impact connectivity. Sure, a mild storm or wind blowing through won't do anything, but if your equipment gets covered in a few feet of snow, then, you know, all bets are off. So is your connectivity and your internet. Six, availability. So you might be asking yourself, how can you bring Starlink into your home? And the good news is that Starlink service is available in 40 countries on all seven continents. So chances are, if you can't access the network now, you'll be able to very, very soon. Five, polar service. When I say all seven continents, I mean all seven continents. Starlink is even available in Antarctica because the US National Science Foundation is testing their polar service. That certainly meets the company's objective of serving remote locations. Cannot get more remote than Antarctica. Four, pre-orders. Services provided in active areas based on a first come first serve basis. As you might imagine, people have already started to pre-order their service kits. Pre-orders can take as long as six months to fulfill. And in some regions, probably won't be until 2023 or later. Three, kit contents. So what comes in these kits, you might be asking. You are asking a lot of questions, by the way, and I will get to them, I promise. Each kit comes with a satellite dish, a dish mount, a Wi-Fi router base unit, a power cable for the base unit, and a 75-foot cable for connecting the dish to the router. Two, Starlink app. Yep, there's an app for that. If you're not sure where to install your equipment to avoid the seven inches of snow you get every year, like we do in Florida, the app can show you how and where to best install the dish on your property. One, cost. Finally, I'm sure you're asking yourself how much all of this will set you back. Well, personal plans start at only $110 a month and a one-time hardware cost of $599. Business plans are $500 a month with a $2,500 equipment package. So that's everything you need to know about Starlink uh, as far as now goes. What about you? Will you be getting Starlink? Is it something you're gonna look into or are you happy with your current service provider? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new List 25 content, including possible shorts we're gonna start. Maybe. So uh, yeah, uh, until next time, see you guys later. Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.